Hello, I'm Sister Nancy Miller, the Prioress of Annunciation Monastery. I'm one of the sisters who calls this beautiful place overlooking the Missouri River home. I would like to share with you a brief history of our monastery and how our Benedictine values have guided courageous women for over 130 years, serving the needs of the community while leading a prayer-filled life on the rolling plains of North Dakota. All great ideas begin with God, and all great deeds begin with vision and courage, and all days of Benedictine life begin with God. The morning light peaks from beyond the horizon of the North Dakota Plains as the Benedictine sisters gather for prayer, as they have gathered for prayer every morning and every evening for over 130 years. Imagine back to 1878 when Bismarck, a part of Dakota Territory, was a primitive prairie town with a population of 2,500. It was the end of the railroad and busy with riverboat men, cowboys, American Indians, and soldiers. The territory also attracted esteemed men such as the Marquis de Mores and future President Theodore Roosevelt. A few Benedictine sisters from Minnesota filled with courage, vision, and faith came to the territory during this time. They brought with them the Benedictine tradition and trust in God's plan for them and the new territory. The Benedictines traced their history back to the year 480 in southern Italy. At that time, hordes of barbarians were overrunning Europe, threatening even Rome. But in the little village of Norcia, Italy, twins Benedict and Scholastica were rays of light in a world of violence and darkness. Their teachings became the basis for modern Benedictines, a way of life involving prayer and living in community and service. In 1035, Benedictine sisters established the St. Walburga Convent in Eichstadt, Germany. For the next 800 years, St. Walburga's convent, like all of Europe, faced plagues, wars, and revolution. In 1835, the sisters began their education ministry after being asked to teach in the city's schools for girls. In 1852, Benedicta Reap, along with two other sisters, traveled across the ocean to the frontier territory and created a foundation in St. Mary's, Pennsylvania. Just five years later, Sister Benedicta moved farther west to St. Joseph, Minnesota, where she established what is now known as St. Benedict's Monastery. She lived there the last four years of her life, dying young at the age of 37. The Benedictine women who came to teach enthusiastically undertook their mission regardless of the danger and the unknown. Frequently, when they arrived, no one met them. They had no money and little or no food. They lived in extremely poor housing and most did not speak English. In 1878, a handful of Benedictine sisters came to Bismarck from Minnesota to open St. Mary's Academy and boarding school. In anticipation, the Bismarck Tribune reported that all children would be accepted as students when the school opened. On March 21, 1878, the sisters arrived. Classes began the following day with 21 boarders and 80-day students enrolled. Like every outpost in the American West, medical care in Bismarck was scarce. Abbot Alexis of St. John's saw the value of a hospital in Bismarck. He purchased the new Lamborn Hotel on 6th and Main and asked the Benedictine sisters to staff it. In 1885, seven sisters arrived to start St. Alexis Hospital, the only hospital between St. Paul and Seattle. Untrained in any form of medical care, they were the first Benedictine women in the United States to serve in the healthcare field. Forty years later, St. Alexis graduated its first class of nurses. After establishing St. Mary's School 
and St. Alexis Hospital in Bismarck. The Benedictines continued to add services throughout Western North Dakota. Bishop Vincent Ryan of the Bismarck Diocese strongly believed that a center of Benedictines should be founded to assure that the education and health care needs of the area would be met. The Bismarck Benedictines, who became known as Annunciation Monastery, gained permission to found an autonomous community in 1947. They asked world-renowned New York architect Marcel Breuer to design a monastery that would exemplify their values of simplicity, strength, and beauty. When Marcel Breuer first walked the expansive hills south of Bismarck, he stopped, gazed at the landscape, and said, even the earth is friendly here. And thus he began his architectural masterpiece that he decreed his jewel on the prairie. Annunciation Monastery's buildings were created with prairie stone and concrete, visible symbols of the Benedictine's faithful presence and service, love of the Benedictine way of life, and appreciation for the people of this area. The sisters taught in elementary schools in Dickinson, Mandan, Bismarck, Mott, and Flasher. They founded hospitals in Bowman, Richardson, Beulah, Riverdale, and Garrison. They traveled to rural parishes during the summer to teach religion to children. In 1959, these sisters began Mary College, which became the University of Mary in 1986. Today, it is a thriving center of learning and known as America's Leadership University. From its beginnings in the old Lamborn Hotel, St. Alexis Medical Center is a thriving medical facility and has been referred to as the Mayo on the Missouri. Benedictines embody flexibility, hard work, and a willingness to follow God's plan even into the unknown. The sisters are committed to prayer, education and study, hospitality, and the development of the whole person. Valuing the close bonds of friendship, the Benedictines' collaboration with the people of the area is embodied in Annunciation Monastery's mission statement. Because of the early Benedictine leaders' belief in community, Annunciation Monastery, the University of Mary, St. Alexis Medical Center, and Garrison Memorial Hospital continue to thrive and serve the needs of the people of the region. In the year 2000, Annunciation Monastery addressed the changing needs of its community by building a new monastery, a place of hospitality to meet the spiritual needs of the people of the area was incorporated into the new building. The Hospitality Center hosts spirituality programs, meetings, and private retreats. As always, the chapel remains the center of the Benedictine home and way of life. The bell banner stands tall and sturdy on the hillside. It is a reminder to all of the centrality of prayer in all endeavors. The bells calling the sisters to prayer are heard over the valley, a constant reminder of the Benedictine presence and connectedness to the people. The women who served as prioresses of Annunciation Monastery collaborated with others to further the mission of the sponsored institutions. The Benedictine sisters continue to play a vital role in those institutions, in diocesan ministries and other areas of leadership. Outreach ministries have taken sisters to missions in the Marshall Islands and to Africa. Regionally, the sisters work with local civic and national projects to further the mission of Jesus through service and prayer. The Sisters of Annunciation Monastery hold the needs of the people of this area and of the world in prayer daily and welcome prayer requests. New members come with the same desire to seek God and to respond with vision and courage just as Benedicta Reap and the other Benedictine women who walked before them ignited the vision of these Bismarck Benedictines and guided them in service to the people of the area. As the Sisters of Annunciation Monastery celebrate more than a century of service to the region, 
We again take the opportunity to say to our friends, we are here for you. We are grateful for the many ways you have been here for us and with us. I invite you to visit us here at Annunciation Monastery. He may be calling you to this beautiful place for a private retreat, personal reflection time, or to join us as we endeavor to live out our faith in service to others. May God bless you.